So you need to find some articles on some certain geography topic for your college class. This is a very short video which will demonstrate how to find what you want with hopefully a minimum of floundering and confusion. I'm Kathleen Wieses, the librarian for the Geography and Earth Sciences departments and the head of the MSU Map Library. Your instructor likely gave you some guidance in what your article ought to be about. Sometimes a professor gives very strict guidelines and might say it needs to be on a specific topic or maybe you choose from a list of topics. Other times you might have to choose your own topic. Sometimes an instructor would specify that the articles need to be scholarly from a peer-reviewed journal article or maybe it needs to be from a popular magazine or has to be a newspaper article. Sometimes an instructor will give uh, a date range requirement. Maybe the article needs to have been published within the last five years or ten years. Whether you're writing a paper or just needing a single article to bring to class, you want to show your professor that you used good judgment in finding your article. I recommend starting with the search box on the library homepage. It will take you to a short list of library resources, but then it gives you the opportunity to get to this more uh, elaborate uh, search results box that allows you to refine your results. I highly recommend that you use these tools purchased by the library and are made available to you even if you're off campus. Even though they index thousands of publications, they do save you from accidentally finding an article unsuitable to your instructor. Your professor will know right away if you bring in an article from a fake scholarship website. You may not have exactly decided what your topic ought to be. One common mistake students have is choosing a topic that's too broad. Take Michigan wetlands, for instance. We can see in the search results a wide variety of subtopics about Michigan wetlands. So think about ways to refine your topic. Wetlands are home to plants, both native plants and invasive species. Wetlands are home to animals, including insects, both native and invasive species. Wetlands are encroached upon by humans and they're restored by humans. Laws and regulations are proposed and enforced relating to wetlands at the state and national and local level. You could also refine your topic by historical period or by specific location. This process of uh, typing in additional terms and studying the range of results that you get as you uh, change and refine your topic can help you quite a lot in deciding what your final topic ought to be. Now down to business. This is college and you need to continue to show good judgment to your instructor by carefully reading the article and being prepared to discuss it or write about it. I've been showing you the search box that's on the library homepage. However, we have many other more specialized tools that can be very helpful especially if you're in upper level class. So here's the geography research guide in which I recommend spe uh, specific resources that can help you in research and geography. In the finding articles tab, you can see a number of more specialized article search tools than what we saw on the library's homepage. Scopus and Web of Science are kind of similar in that they only index scholarly materials and they cover the full spectrum of scholarship from the humanities to the sciences. One thing they're very good at is keeping track of how esteemed or, or at least how noteworthy an article is by how many times each article has been cited by other authors. Geobase only indexes periodicals relating to geography and international development. Environment Complete specializes in the environmental science literature, and GeoRef specializes in the geology literature. Please do email me 
or schedule an appointment if you want more pointers on your literature search. I can help with data, statistics, maps, government reports, or any other library-related challenge. Good luck. <laughs>